everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be working on learning to knit for crocheters. I am working on the We Are Knitters Praline Scarf Beginner Level Project. It includes all of these things. We Are Knitters is a wonderful kit company that does crochet and knitting kits and I am teaching myself to knit using this awesome praline scarf kit. Now it comes with a We Are Knitters um, label that you can sew on to your finished project to look nice, finished, and professional. It comes with a tapestry needle. You also have the pattern printed nicely in this little booklet. So if we take a look at the pattern, we can see that here when you first open it up, it has kind of the shape or the scheme of the project in its entirety. So this is just a plain beginner level scarf. And then when we open this up, we can see that there's all kinds of information in here, um, but most importantly, the pattern itself. So I do not know how to knit. I don't know any knit stitches. I don't know um, any of it. And I'm basically teaching myself using crochet skills, and I'm going to teach you along here in this video. So, and then also on the back, it has some tips and tricks and then the care instructions for the wool. So this praline scarf pattern uses the We Are Knitters, the wool. This is a 200 gram ball and this is the mauve color. It comes with two skeins, nice plush, 100% Peruvian Highland wool. It's a uh, bulky weight yarn. So we have some larger knitting needles that also come in our kit. And looking at the skein itself, if I take the label off here and looking at the strand, we can see that this is much thicker than any like worsted weight yarn and the wool is much softer and kind of more open weave than what we would find in a big box store. It's nice and cushy and soft and just very, very high quality. So that is the yarn, the wool that it comes with. And then my kit has also come with the knitting needles, which are the We Are Knitters knitting needles. These are a 15 millimeter. They are the best wooden needles um, made in Spain, which is pretty cool. The knitting needles are made of beech wood and they are beautiful, nice, shiny, smooth, but without being too smooth where my stitches will slip off easily. Nice 15 millimeter long needles. So we're going to be utilizing these here in this video, learning about how to cast on um, with a crochet method. So here getting started, I'm going to be following my pattern, but you can use this technique, the crochet cast on, um, with any pattern that you like. I'm just going to be following my We Are Knitters kit, which tells me I need to cast on 15 stitches. So again, using the wool, I'm going to start with a slip knot. I'm gonna set aside one of my needles, and I've got a 15 millimeter crochet hook here as well, my lovely Clover Amore hooks, and I'm going to need one of my needles for now. So a 15 millimeter hook, same size as my needles. Go ahead and start with a slip knot. Insert your hook into the slip knot just as if we are going to crochet. But now before we get going, go ahead and hold that tail down, grab your needle, and place it in front of the working yarn. It's very important here that the crochet hook is on the right side and the needle is on the left. Go ahead and wrap that yarn up and around the front and all the way back to the back. Then we're just going to grab that loop and pull it through. So now we've cast on one stitch and we can see that here on the needle. We're gonna do that again, wrapping around the front from left to right and just pull through. That's cast on two, wrap around and pull through. This is sort of a yarn over, but you're yarning over both the needle and the hook. So I'm going to keep repeating this and we can see here what the bottom and the top of our stitches on the needle look like. They're nice and loose. Make sure that if you want to use this crochet technique to cast on, you do have at least a matching hook size to what your needles are, if not a little bigger. Make sure not to use a hook that's smaller than your needles um, because that will cause your stitches to be too tight and you won't be able to work them later with just your needles. So go ahead and keep doing this. I'm gonna keep going until I've cast on 14 because the 15th stitch, I'll show you how I do that here at the end. My pattern calls for a cast on of 15, so I'm gonna to get to 14. Make sure you're not too tense here as always in crochet. We wanna make sure that we're nice and relaxed and our muscles aren't tensed up. And the same goes for knitting. So here I have cast on 
all of my stitches in this crochet cast on method nice and easy very quick and easy to grasp if you are an avid crocheter so here we can see I have 14, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Loosen up that loop on your hook and just wrap it right on around and tighten it down and that will give us 15 cast on stitches. We can see here what the back should be looking like and the front or the top and the bottom, however you want to look at it. So that is the crochet cast on. Please join me in part two of learning to knit for crocheters. We'll be learning the knit stitch. Thanks for watching. Thank you.